Are you looking for ways to save time when you're composing emails or entering information into HubSpot? The Snippets tool might be just what you're looking for. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. The Snippets tool inside of HubSpot is this powerful little tool that a lot of people overlook because of its simplicity. Now what it does is it allows you to create short codes or one or two words that allow you to expand the sentence so that you can fill things that you type repeatedly. So these might be things like meeting note outlines or perhaps closings on emails or when someone asks about your pricing information or even your address to your company. So let's jump in and actually figure out what snippets are and how to use them as you use the HubSpot platform. So inside of here, inside this HubSpot portal, we've got the snippets area pulled up and actually you're gonna find this under conversations and pull down snippets. That's where it's going to be found. So first of all, I'm going to show you what this looks like because we have snippets already set up in this system just to take a quick peek. So first of all, we've got a couple of things in here. My coworker set up a couple of snippets for notes, taking notes on calls. Um, so for instance, this is a connect call. And if I pull this open, you can see that we've got, this is the snippet text that he's got loaded and this is actually an outline for taking notes. So when uh, we're on a call with a prospective client and we're, to, we're, we're going through this connect call um, procedure, um, we're simply going to that contact record inside of HubSpot, press pound and then SAS connect. So that's, this, that's what makes it expand. And then we automatically fill that. So I'll go ahead and show you what this looks like and put this into use. So I'm gonna pull up a contact record that I have here and I'm gonna pull up some notes. So let's say I'm on that connect call and I'm gonna type pound SAS connect and then it's going to show me, oh, there's a snippet for that. If I select that, then it, go ahead and, it went ahead and populated all of the uh, text that was in that snippet to fill this text here and then I can go ahead and start taking notes directly on my phone call right here in HubSpot. So if I were to save that, again, let's assume that I put some more notes in here. I save that, it'll save just like it would a regular note, again, you add additional details as you need to, but it was a huge time saver and a way to create some consistency in your sales process. Now, if you do that same sort of thing over in um, your email, so if you've got Gmail linked to HubSpot, and uh, if you haven't done that, go ahead and look at our other video to show you how to do that. But once you've got the two linked together, we've got an environment here where we've got these uh, functions of the HubSpot CRM sitting just below that two uh, in that subject field. So right here, I've got this word snippets. So let's say, that I was gonna take notes uh, inside of an email, um, or in this case, let's actually find a snippet that would be more appropriate for email. So I'm just gonna make up some text here. So we're gonna say, hi, Allie. And then um, usually we have to add a recipient in order for these to load. So I'm gonna type in a recipient here. And let's say, hi, Allie, great meeting you. And then, you know, XYZ content would go here. And let's say I wanted to always close this email or I close my email similarly every time. So to save myself time, I might load a snippet and I've got an email closing snippet loaded here. So in this case, in Gmail, you're not going to type the pound and then have it expand. In Gmail, you're actually going to select it from the snippet menu click on email closing and again this would pop up and if I wanted to send as is I could otherwise again I could add some more context to this email so that's how to use snippets and let's go ahead and set up our first snippet inside of HubSpot so you can get a quick look at how this works so when you're creating a snippet again you're just going to click on create you want to give your snippet a name, because again, if I go back over to this uh, here inside of HubSpot, uh, when it's synced to the Gmail, I actually pull this down. So you're gonna know what your snippets are by what you call them. So again, think about naming structure um, for the simplicity and future use. So this internal name, let's say um, someone always asks about your pricing um, you know, for a particular product. So I'm gonna call this pricing product XYZ. And the snippet text might be, um, you know, pricing for product XYZ starts at, let's say, $9.99. For more information, visit xyz.com forward slash pricing. Now, this can be made into a hyperlink, so I can go ahead and hyperlink this inside of my short code or inside of my snippet uh, interface here. And so let's say this is xyz.com forward slash pricing. Oops, pricing, there we go. 
and then I want this to open a new tab, so click apply. Now, the last piece of this is creating that shortcut or the short code in this case that would be used that you type and it's going to expand. So if I have several pricing snippets, I might wanna call this pricing product XYZ. In this case, for the sake of the demonstration, I'm just gonna call this one pricing. So if I click save snippet, now this pricing product XYZ is going to be here. So if you're creating a lot of snippets that you're sharing amongst your team, uh, you probably wanna create folders for those snippets so you can easily organize those ideas. Uh, keep in mind snippets can also be used inside of the live chat bot uh, that you might have on your website that's linked to HubSpot as well. Again, makes those, uh, those chats with website customers fairly straightforward if a lot of the same questions get asked in that chat interface as well. So if I go back to my email here and let's say again, um, this person asked about pricing. And then I insert that pricing snippet. There we go. And it loads just like that. So one last tip, if you're using these snippets, you can also insert those custom properties that you would find inside of a HubSpot record. So keep in mind when you use that, maybe in like a Gmail environment, uh, you might not have that information loaded because if you're emailing a person for the first time or it's a contact that you don't have that information in the CRM, those personalization tokens won't, uh, won't take. But let's say for example, that I am uh, you know putting this together in HubSpot um, and I wanna reference um, you know, someone's uh, company name or or their their uh, um, their first name. I can actually go in, edit this, and then if I want to personalize. So, uh, so let in this case, let's say um, excited to work with you, and then I can go ahead and insert their first name here. There we go, and then save. And then if I were to do this again, I want to insert my snippet here. So I'm already loaded into HubSpot, so it went ahead and automatically found my record relative to HubSpot and inserted my first name. So you can go ahead and link those personalization tokens inside the snippets. And again, when you're chatting or you're creating templates inside of the HubSpot CRM, or you are corresponding one-to-one -one sales uh, in Gmail, that makes it really easy to do. So that's it. Go ahead and jump in and use snippets. If you have any questions about this, drop them uh, below the video in the YouTube comments. We'll make sure and get back to you. Or if you have an idea for a future video, or something you want us to tackle, let us know and we'll be sure to address it in a future video. We'll see you next week.